Hey YouTube, it's Nick93US, and uh, today I'm going to show you how to flash a Hatichi 0078 FK drive. And uh, to tell what the drive is, you can either uh, make sure that it's a Hatichi by these little holes on the disk tray, so you can just eject the drive. And that's one way to tell it's a Hatichi, but to verify that it's a 0078 FK, and uh, for the 79s, there's an extra step, you just have to use the 79 unlock. And you can look up that on YouTube, but this is only for the 0078FK. You can see it from ROM version. And there's the Hatichi. Okay, so what you're going to have to do is burn a Slax disk, Slax 21. So, I'll have that in the downloads. I already have mine burned right here. And you're going to have to open up your Xbox. You don't have to take this cover off, but I did because I have the Pulse VU and the LEDs in there. So, uh first thing you're going to have to do is, first of all, shut down your computer and plug this, unplug the black SATA cable that's going into your drive from your Xbox. So, just unplug that. And then uh, these SATA cables have a little ridge in them, so it's kind of hard to uh, mix them up. See that? So, it will not let it go in if it isn't in the right way. So. Just plug the one that's plugged into the computer, and uh, your Xbox is going to be hooked up with a ground wire. I just use a hanger, and I'll get that right after I shut down my computer. So, uh, let me do that really quick. And remember, all you have to do is plug this static cable into the end of your drive and plug it into port one on your computer on your uh, uh, desktop. So you have to have static ports open, and it's usually the first one in that link, the four blocks. I have four blocks. I don't know what you have. But, uh, hold on. Let me shut down my computer and then I'll continue. Okay, so the computer's off. My ground wire's hooked up from the chassis of the Xbox 360 to the chassis of the PC. And we do this because the voltage going through the PC is higher than the Xbox. And Xbox has a floating point ground. This has a true earth. And it could break your drive. So, always hook up a ground wire. I mean, it's rare, but... You know, why not? It's good. Anyway, uh, once you have your slats just burned and ready, just get it out for this step. And you turn on your PC and immediately eject your, dri your uh, uh, DVD drive on your PC. So you eject it, put it back in, and it will boot off of slacks. And at this time, you want to turn on your Xbox 360. And when you get a spinning up disk message, you're going to have to eject the drive. It may take two presses. So there's the spinning up disk. And it only took one for me. And you get a bunch of green lights. Okay, and then you'll come to the Slack's login page. Now, at this, you want to leave your drive tray open and uh, just shut down your PC. So just press the power off button, it'll run the log off scripts. And you're going to have to take out the disk when it comes out of your uh, drive, because it's going to automatically eject it. So here it goes. You take it out. It automatically pulls it back in. And then you boot into Windows. So I'm going to boot in there really quick. And leave your Xbox on for this. Don't turn it off yet. So we're going to boot in. Slack's disk is not in anymore. Xbox is still on. And uh, when it 
notes to the Windows loading bar, you want to keep ejecting in the drive because sometimes it'll get frozen. So, once you, mine is on, uh, see, resuming Windows. So you just keep ejecting the drive. Sorry, there's a loose wire on the LEDs, that's why it's touching the ground. Okay, so now we're in. I got a little face scanner. I'm just going to log in with this, though. Whoops. Okay, so we get logged in here. And this is where you want to go to firmware toolbox. Just got to close out of everything that automatically pops up. Okay, I'm going to go into my Edspot 360 modding controller. I mean, the folder. And I'm going to switch over to the screen, the screen recorder on the computer. Okay, so we are booted into Windows. We have our drive open and our Edspot's on. What you're going to have to do before you open 360 Firmware Toolbox is put a retail DVD in the Edspot 360 drive. And uh, it has to be retail. I'm using Hitch. And then to close the drive correctly, you have to either press it, press the eject button once and then manually close it. Or you can press the eject button twice and a third time before it closes. So I'm going to do that. And it'll stay in there. And then Windows Media Player will open, and I'll close out of that. So we exit out of Windows Media Player. And then go into 360 Firmware Toolbox. Okay, and then we go to Tools, Direct Drive Dump, GDR only. And then make sure it's selected, and it says ROM0078, so that's right. And then Raw Dump Firmware As. Okay, then I'm going to go into a folder that where you want to keep it, and make sure you do not lose these files. So I'm going to go to, I've already done this, so I'm going to go to my desktop. And save it as O R I G and click save. It'll read it. And then it says, Do you want to perform a checksum validation? Yes. Okay, and it says, Do you want to open it now? Yes.